There are lots of moving parts to my business and there's several different ways that we reach people and bring traffic in. We're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, but without a doubt, there's one thing that we have in place that moves the needle financially for our business way more than any of the others and that is our email list. Now, I know that may not sound super exciting, but the proof is undeniable. Our email list has brought in more sales than all of our other platforms combined. I truly believe that building an email list should be top priority for any business owner And if it's not something you've thought about or taken action on yet, it's definitely something you don't want to wait on. So today we're talking all about why an email list is so important and the steps that you can take to start building one from scratch now. Coming up. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, online seller, and passive income strategist. And I have this channel to help you start and scale your online business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. Now you may think that if you're in the beginning stages of your entrepreneur journey and you're just starting to build your online business, that maybe it's too early for you to think about starting an email list. And I just wanna reiterate the importance of starting now rather than waiting. There's really no such thing as too early when it comes to starting to build your email list. So let's talk about why an email list is so important. Number one is that you own your email list as opposed to let's say social media platforms like Instagram or TikTok or Facebook. When you have an email list, you have a whole list of people that have opted in voluntarily because they wanna follow you, they love what you're doing in your business and you own that list so you have the opportunity to contact them and communicate with them on your terms and not to rely on a social media platform that could be taken away at any moment. When you don't have an email list and your sole means of communication with your potential customers is that one platform, let's say Facebook, you don't own Facebook and you have no control over what Facebook does. So if for some reason your account got suspended or Facebook went down, which actually did happen for a whole day a few years back, I don't know if you remember that, but Facebook actually went dark for almost a whole day. And I remember business owners that had big launches planned for products they were launching that were scrambling because they had no way to reach their potential customers. And the one platform they did have to try to reach them was taken away for almost a whole day. I think that day a lot of business owners realized the importance of having an email list that you own that you have full control over. Reason number two why an email list is so important goes along with this and that is that you get more reliable reach. So what I mean by this is as opposed to a social media platform that relies on an algorithm to determine which of your followers will actually see your post and the things you push out, with an email list there's no dependence on an algorithm and every email that you send will be delivered to the people that have opted into your list. Now, whether or not your email ends up in their spam folder is a totally different story. And that's a different conversation of optimizing your emails to actually be delivered to the right place and to their inbox. But I'd rather depend on communication where I know that my emails are being sent and delivered to every single person that's opted in that wants to follow me, as opposed to only a small percentage of my followers even having the chance to read what I'm posting. When you're relying on a social media algorithm, it's true that only a very small small percentage of even the people that have clicked to follow you and want to see what you're doing will even have the chance to see your posts. I also love email because it's more customizable. I love that we have so many options for personalizing and customizing emails these days. So an example of this is putting the first name of the person that's going to receive your email. And even if it's an automated email to thousands of people, there are lots of different customization options like this available on most email service providers now. So having that more personal and custom feel really goes a lot way with developing trust with your potential customers. The more they feel like you're talking directly to them, the more that know, like, and trust factor builds. You can also segment your email list, which means that if you have people opting in for different reasons, you can tag them with certain phrases or words so that then when you go to send an email out, if it's on a very niche or specific topic that won't apply to your whole list, you can segment and only send it to the portion of your list that it's relevant for. So for instance, if I know I have people joining my email email lists that are interested in digital products, but I also have people that are opting in because they want to know more about selling physical products, then I can make sure to tag those people as they come in. And when I go to send, let's say a digital product specific email, I would make sure to only send it to the portion or segment of my list that it relates to so that each portion of my email list is only receiving emails that I know they're going to be interested in. The capability to do this and make it a really customized experience for your email list subscribers gives you such an upper 
upper hand as opposed to just shooting out a really broad social media post and not even knowing who's gonna see it. Research has also shown that when you're comparing social media marketing to email marketing, email has a much higher click-through rate and return on investment when you're comparing the two. So email subscribers are highly more likely to click through on a link that they receive in an email as opposed to a person that sees your post on social media. If you're investing in both social media and email marketing, that return on investment is gonna be much higher with email because of the higher click-through rate and the higher conversion rate. All right, now let's talk about the steps you can take today to start building an email list from scratch if you don't have one yet. The key to this is going to be starting with content marketing. So your first step is to begin offering free, valuable content on a specific platform. So you wanna start thinking first about what platform you could offer this content on. Is it on YouTube? Would it be a podcast? Would it be a blog, a social media platform? I would suggest when you're deciding on what platform to start with that you pick the one that you're most familiar with that would be the most simple and easy for you to jump into as opposed to trying to learn something completely new. You also wanna think about and get really specific on topic or subject matter. So what type of content are you going to be putting out there for people? You want it to be something that's search-based that really serves people and answers specific questions for people. You also want it to align really well with whatever you might be offering in the future. So if you already know in the future sometime you wanna offer, let's say, a digital course on fitness, then you would want to start with free valuable content around the topic of fitness. When you think about your content marketing strategy, you want everything to align around this one specific topic or niche. The key here is that you're gonna give first. You're gonna be really generous and give free and really truly valuable content that helps people. Your specific niche is gonna draw in the type of ideal customer that might eventually purchase your paid products, but for now, you're giving free value and serving people. Now moving on to step number two, you're going to create a lead magnet. A lead magnet can also be called an opt-in or a freebie. There are a lot of different names that people call it, but it's basically something that you're going to give for free in exchange for someone opting in and signing up for your email list. So in the first step with starting to provide the free valuable content, you're bringing in the ideal people that you want to sign up for your email list by giving them free content. And in this step, you're actually giving them a specific resource, which is your lead magnet for free in exchange for them signing up. So you're basically saying, hey, I have an email list. If you sign up, you get this free thing that's gonna be really useful to you. So there are a lot of different types of lead magnets and it depends on what kind of content you are offering, what kind of niche you're in, and that'll determine what lead magnet would be best for you to offer. But these are things like PDF checklists and cheat sheets or quick start guides. You could offer swipe files or templates or a free trial or a coupon code. This can really be anything that you feel comfortable giving away for free and you truly feel would serve your audience well. The reason for this is that most likely not a lot of people are just gonna sign up for your email list willingly. I don't know that any of us just really want more emails in our inbox, right? So you have to offer them something and give an incentive or a reward that will make them wanna sign up for your list. Now, I know it can be hard to narrow down what kind of lead magnet you might create. So I've done some research and compiled a list of 38 lead magnet ideas to help you out. I'll have that linked in the description box below if you wanna check it out. It's a free download for you and I hope that'll give you a head start as to figuring out what kind of lead magnet might be right for your business. Now let's say that you decide on some type of PDF lead magnet. Let's say it's a quick start guide or a workbook or something like that. You don't have to start from scratch. What I recommend is finding a template to start with. You can find a ton of these kind of templates in a lot of different places. You can look on Canva for something like workbook template or checklist template. You can also purchase these types of templates from places like Etsy and Creative Market. Once you have the template that you wanna work off of, I recommend that you go on Canva and customize it there because you can make it completely your own and then save it as a PDF download. Now, if you don't have a Canva account, it's totally easy to sign up for and free. They have a free version and a paid pro version. You get more elements with the paid pro version. So if you're interested in checking that out, I have a 30 day free trial linked in the description box below that you can try out Canva Pro. But even if you don't wanna pay for the pro version, you can use Canva for free and use your template to edit it, make it your own, make it what relates to your business. And then once you're done, save it as a download. Now, of course, if you decide on offering a coupon code or something else, that's not a PDF download, then you wouldn't need to go through this step. You would just offer and then deliver that lead magnet in an automated email that would be sent to your subscriber right after they sign up. All right, our next step here is sort of a two-in-one step, and this is to find an email service provider and create your landing page. So the two of these sort of go hand in hand. Your email service provider is who you're gonna sign up with that will actually manage your whole email account. This is where you're gonna be sending your emails out from and actually building your list and hosting all of your email activities with this 
this email service provider. Then your landing page is a specific web page that you're gonna create. It's not long form, it's a really short landing page that exists for the sole purpose of receiving those opt-ins or people that are signing up for your list and exchanging that for your lead magnet. You don't have to have a whole website built out for this. It's really easy to create one simple single landing page for a specific lead magnet and then having a sign up form on that landing page where someone will input just their name and email address and that will automatically sign them up for your list and you can set it up to automatically deliver that lead magnet to them after they fill out that form. Now there are some platforms where the email service provider and the ability to make landing pages are all available in one provider. A lot of people go that route for their business if they want more of an all-in-one solution and then some people go the route of linking together two separate platforms. One email service provider that only does email and one provider that only does landing pages and linking them. So a few examples of the all-in-one platforms would be places like Kajabi or ConvertKit. And an example of linking two separate platforms might be using MailChimp for your email and lead pages for your landing page and then syncing them together. My personal preference and what I have done for the majority of my business is using an all-in-one provider. I personally use Kajabi because not only does Kajabi offer email services and landing pages, but they also offer even more options like hosting digital courses, coaching, memberships, communities, a full website. So because I offer a lot of these things in my business, I use Kajabi as an all-in-one for everything. So if you think that in the future, you might want to go the route of offering digital courses or any type of educational digital products, and I definitely recommend you try out Kajabi. I have a free trial linked in the description box below if you want to check it out and try it out to see if it might be the right fit for your business. So like I mentioned before, the basic process would be to decide and sign up with your preferred email service provider and go ahead and create your landing page and set it up with a form that people can fill out and an automated email that delivers your lead magnet to them right after they sign up. Now, once you have all of that set up, the next step is to start sharing about your lead magnet in your free content. Now, ideally you've created a lead magnet that goes along with the same subject matter and topic and niche that you're already creating free content on. So it can really seamlessly and organically integrate into what you're already talking about. So let's say you have a fitness YouTube channel that you've been creating free, valuable content on, videos about fitness for your audience, and you've decided to make a PDF quick start guide on fitness for beginners then you can really easily mention that quick start guide in one of your videos and make sure to let them know that the link to get that free guide is in the video description. And then you put the link for your landing page as the link for them to click through on in that description and they would click through to the landing page, sign up on your form and receive that automated email with the quick start guide. You wanna share about your lead magnets as often as possible wherever it organically fits in on as many platforms as you're on. Now, once you've got people signing up and your email list is starting to grow, you wanna make sure to determine that you're going to be consistent with communicating with them. That consistency is what helps to build that no like, and trust factor. So I'd recommend you decide on a certain cadence that works for you and your capacity at the moment, whether it be weekly or twice a week, whatever you feel like you could be consistent with and continue for the long term to nurture your audience through your email list and also have a place to announce your launches and your new products, any sales that you may be offering and continue providing them free valuable content through your email list as well. The more they hear from you, the more they feel like they know you, resulting in more conversions. Now, if you're interested in building a passive income business, we know that an email list is so key for this, but you may not even really be fully aware of what passive income is or how to start with passive income. So if you're interested in learning the basics of what passive income is and how to start building a passive income business today, then you can click or tap on the square on the screen right now, and that'll take you over to my Passive Income 101 video. Talk soon, friends. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.